Welcome to a special edition of the Rebel Run Sports Show. I'm glad to be joined by two-time state champions, Joey Free, Ramon Johnson of Westfield High School. How you guys doing? Good, how are you? Doing good, doing good. Doing good. It's good, you got a lot of stuff going on over here even though it's the summer. Yeah, I got some baseball going on, some soccer. Yeah. But you got the ring showing, so it's all right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, well, let's talk about that. Let's get it. Man, you got, oh, you got the basketball one, too. Yeah, I forgot about yeah. that. Damn. All right. Ahead. Flexing on them. Um, let's start with last season. You guys, you know, there was, it was a little tough road in the beginning. You had a couple yeah. losses. I know, you know there, was the, there was a tough TC game, too. But then you guys seemed to turn it around midseason and just go with it. What was that? What turned it around? Uh, I think uh, I think we realized um, it's not going to be an easy ride this year. Uh, I think since we knew that we won the state championship the year before, that it was just going to be given to us. We we're just going to be good from the beginning, and I think we learned that after the second loss that we gotta we gotta pick it up. Like we gotta seniors have to start acting like leaders. Um, young kids got to start listening to the older kids, and we just got to pick it up. And then I think also like. Honestly, what happened in the beginning of the year, like all the drama and stuff, kind of got us depth in a way. Mm -hmm. Like we got our secondary in, like the beginning of the season, they kind of started getting things together and then all of us came back and then we moved around in the playoffs. I think that helped a lot. Right. Moving Ramon to quarterback, a lot of those good teams, like that would have been hard without him there. <laughs> That's the year before, the move for you going in at quarterback is still one of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen happen. Where yeah. you guys are great all year, and then you go in there and just make it even better. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, all right, so everybody wants to give you guys their, their best shot. Everybody wants a shot at you all. What was that like? Did, was there a lot of trash talk from other teams to you all because you play at Westfield? For sure. The um, second South County game this past year in the playoffs, oh, they're just coming for us. Like every every play I heard at least two, three people saying something to me, trying to set me off. And then the state championship game, I've, I got pushed on one play I remember, and all I just hear is just da -da 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 from all sorts of sides. And I'm just like, keep it together. Don't say anything. Yeah. Don't say anything. My team needs me. Don't say anything. What about you? I mean, like a lot of the time, that's all the teams could do, honestly. Just <laughs> talk to and then we were just showing what's up on the field, but. Yeah. Honestly, it just motivates us more yeah. when they talk to us. Like, because we knew each week, like yeah. we were just getting the best yeah. from every team. How much do you trash talk Scanlon? Do you ever? Do you uh, ever? Do you ever let him know? Oh, in, in the huddle. It's, <laughs> oh yeah, he's gonna get it. But honestly, like it's more like, like it's not like I'm getting at him or he's getting. At him. It's more like, what are we gonna do? Like to do that play better? What are we gonna yeah, do to like yeah. fix what we did wrong? Man, I don't like, wanna hear what, what you did when you were playing with him. <laughs> yeah. What do you do now? Do you, ever, do you ever let him, do you ever take a picture and show him the rings? Oh, nah, cause he still has more rings than me. <laughs> I'll right, give yeah. it to him, PVI, he balled. All right, all right. <laughs> well, that late, all right, second half of the season, you went absolutely nuts. Um, you, your deep ball was unbelievable and it was, I don't know what you guys did or were you trying to hide it earlier in the year? Did you just, what happened? Uh, I think coach was um, just easing it back a little bit in the beginning of the season. We were trying to rely on the run as much. Didn't realize what we, like the weapons we had on the outside until later in the season. We finally realized what we had. We opened up the playbook more, started running a lot more different options, different plays and stuff. <laughs> Um, just trying to get our playmakers a ball, Ivory, Sean, you know. When you give them the ball, like, they're going to go make a play whenever, you know. I trust giving them the ball. Like, a run play is called, but I see, like, um, something wrong with the defense. I'm going to change the play, give them an audible, and give them the ball. Like, that's just gonna how it's going to work. But, I mean, yeah, I think Coach trusted us later in the year to throw the ball. Um, I think um, – I, I didn't have the confidence that I had later in the season that I did in the beginning of the season, but I think once I uh, built that confidence, everything was starting to work out to perfection. Okay. All right, Joey, I was here for the second South County game. I saw what you did in that game. I think Spalding had one catch. Something like that. Yeah, it was a ridiculous performance. I definitely said you were the player of that game. What, how much pride did you take in, in trying to lock down a big time receiver in here? Um, I took a lot of pride. I mean, after the first game, like, it was really just another game coming into that playoff game. So I don't really think much of it going in, but after, I mean, we're on our way to, like, 
the states, the road to the states, and it just kept going. That's what we had envisioned in our heads. And we knew it was going to get done. And I like I give a lot of credit to my coaches because we also had help coming in on some plays, mm-hmm. stuff like that, just to lock them down. But you were ready for it. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, since you talked about the coaching, talk about your coaching staff. How well do they prepare you each week for the tasks that you have going on? It's incredible. I mean, I didn't even think coming into high school that coaches could do the stuff that they do. Yeah. With all the film work we put in, just day in and day out. Even on the weekends, just sitting at home, like we get to the point where we love doing that stuff, like the extra stuff, and that's what gets us to where we go each year. Yeah, honestly, it wouldn't even be like during school. Like you think, like as like a football player, like you're like you'd go to school and just learn like no football. Like you just be focused on classes. We'd be doing them, but then like we go to lunch and coaches are pulling us out of lunch. Yeah. Oh, let's watch this. This is what we're gonna do this week. This is what we're gonna do. This is how we're gonna stop them. Like, do you see what they're doing here? Yeah, they're getting exposed right there. It's just <laughs> every day. <laughs> and then like that's what honestly like our coaches like their confidence motivated us, and we were like, oh, they know we're gonna oh we're gonna do this. Like, they, they have confidence in us to do this. Oh, we're going to do this correct. Like, and honestly, like, it's like a connection we have with them. Like, they build, like, connection with their players. Like, and we love them. They love us. We treat each other like family day in and day out, like Joey said. But, yeah, like, it's all – we have to give it all to the coaches. All right. The Coach Simmons. Dude's all business. Yeah. What's the best part about Coach Simmons? When he's not business, like after we won a big game, <laughs> going to the locker room. <laughs> that's the best part. It's the best part because he's just like he's just so happy for us, especially. I mean, before the game and during the game, like it's all yes sir, no sir, yes yeah. sir, yeah, we're gonna do this, yes sir, coach, I got this, I got this. Then after the game, we're like, hey, coach, let's hit this dance, let's hit this dance. Like, he's That's doing all these fun room. dances, having a good time. But once you get back to Monday, it's all back to business. Yeah. All right, well, give me a good story that he's not gonna be happy about. Uh, there was one game we won. I want to, uh, I think it might have been to go to States. And we're in the locker room, and the dab just came out, and everyone's dabbing all over the place, doing all that. And Coach Simmons comes back, and we're like, Coach Simmons, hit the dab for us. And he's like, What is that? And we're like, and he's like, he's like, you're going to make fun of me, are you? We're like, no, no. Everyone gets their cameras out. Oh, he's about to hit the dab. He's about to hit the dab. We put it on the beat, and he's just like, <laughs> no, <that's all. laughs> it's pretty, it was just a great moment. Everyone's just having fun. Yeah. All right. Off of football for a second. Joey, I got to ask you. Your prom suit, man. <laughs> I saw that uh, thing. <laughs> where, first, where did you get it? I mean, second, where did you get the idea for that? Last year I went to prom and like the bus was just super hot. So I was like, all right, like I'm going to look up a short sleeve suit. And that's just what came up. So <laughs> I was like, I'll just get it. Like, whatever. Yeah. Me and Ramon like to stand out a little bit. You can see that. Yeah. You can see that. <laughs> You'll do it well. <laughs> You'll do it well. Well, next for you, South Dakota. Yep. And what have the coaches told you coming in? I'm going in. I'm just going to compete my ass off every day. You know, um, got some older kids in front of me, but coming from Westfield, like, you don't let stuff like that stand in your way. I mean, I'm going to respect them. Those are going to be my future teammates. But, I mean, I'm going to go in and compete my butt off every day, do the best I can to put myself in the best position to get on the field, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. All right. Joey, Coastal Carolina. What was it about Coastal Carolina? Uh, I think, like, the size and the beach, honestly. Yeah? Yeah. And they got they got a good school there, so. Yeah, you too. Good it's education. A, and the campus is nice. And yeah. It's all right in one spot. Yeah. Wow, that's really Coastal, man. How many, how many times are you going to try to get down and visit him next year? Whenever I can. Yeah, I'm going to go up there a lot, too. This is my bro. He ain't going to South Dakota. You're going to be nah, at the beach. You ain't going to nah, South Dakota. You're going to South Dakota. Nah, he's at coming At least for a me. game or two. Yeah, there you go. For sure. All right. So, remind, 125 of 234, 22, 82, and 35 touchdowns. How many of those touchdowns came, I don't know, after week seven? Can you say those again? That was kind of crazy. Yeah. 125 of 234 for 2282, 35 touchdowns. You also have 415 rushing yards and eight touchdowns. You have 43 touchdowns this year. Honestly, probably more than half of those came like after game seven. 
Just cause, yeah. You started slinging that. Thing. Yeah, cause that's also when Coach like started having more confidence in us and started trusting us. We trusted him with the play calling. Honestly, we opened up when we told him, Coach, like we can do this. Let us sling the rock. He trusted us. Did this, just that. Went out in the playoffs and just did what we had to do. Enjoy in the playoffs. When you guys gave up three to South County, twelve to South Lakes, thirteen to Madison, and seven to Woodson. You had given up some points earlier in the year. What turned that around going into the playoffs? I mean, I think coming into the playoffs, like those games leading up to them, our defense was just finally like coming together. We were just finally getting everything together. Like even our weak points, like fix those, except for a little bit. Um, but yeah, I think that's what really helped just like us merging together at the end and the talk, the communication that came in with it at the end and then the plans that we had for the playoff teams were just insane. Right. After seeing, after having all that film from previous games and just we knew what they were gonna come out with. All right. Also like being on the offensive side, I could see the defense. Like earlier in the season, we were hurt, banged up a little bit. Big guys out, like shoot, Zach Jewell was out a few games. Mm -hmm. Joey was out yeah, a dude. little bit. Yeah. We are just playing young the whole, whole first half of the season. Everybody comes back healthy and strong and Westfield is known for the postseason. All right, so in, all right, in the Madison game, there was a play early on. Uh, Landon Thomas broke away for a run, and, and you you tracked him down and got and yeah. got him. I thought that was a real turning point in that game. Are the what plays do you remember? Like, what are there particular plays from this season that that stand out to you more than any? From myself? Yeah. Um, that one stands out just because that's basically like saying we're not going to give up. Like yeah. we're gonna. We're gonna let you know, like, um, another one, like, South County, even though I shouldn't have picked the ball off to end the game, I remember that one a lot. The fake punt or whatever they were trying to do. <laughs> they always try to do some fancy, I don't even know. <laughs> Honestly, half the time it's like, I swear I saw that playing Madden in like the, tr <laughs> the trick book over there, but I mean. Honestly, from the defensive side, I remember, um, uh, Madison, Sadiq Hinton's pick six. Yeah. yeah. That, that, that see, like, when the offense isn't doing what they're supposed to be doing and the defense does that for you, you're like, they, those are my brothers. They got my yeah. back. They're doing it right on their side. Now we got to pick it up on our side. We got to stop slacking. Was that right after halftime? I think so. I think it was right after halftime. Yeah, if not, it was going into the fourth or something yeah. like that. Yeah. I remember when that, uh, against Oscar Smith, they're throwing a fade on me. I don't know why I remember this so much, but I, like, I was about to get beat, but I didn't. It's not that good of a play, but I just <laughs> Hey, <laughs> if it stands out to you, you know, sometimes it's not the ones that, that jump out on film. It's the ones that you're in the moment that, that happen. Um, that Oscar Smith game, I mean, you, you two years in a row, you had them. I was on the field the year before. There was there was some talk going on back and forth. Oh yeah. How much talk was there, was there this year? There was none this yeah. year compared to the no. first year. It was it was kind of weird. I was expecting a lot more, but this year it was all about this is a business trip. Yeah. Like man. this is just another day in the another day in the office. But uh, the first year, I was I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty nervous. I was young, yeah. Yeah. just got put in that quarterback like two games before that. I go in like. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm calming myself down. It's gonna be great. Like, just keep doing what I've been doing the past couple games. We go out and these dudes are like six six, six five, and just looking down at me, and I'm just like, oh god. <laughs> I'm just like, oh my god. But honestly, like that, like I honestly was shook the first couple plays, but once we started driving on them and we scored, I was just, that's when it started getting ignorant. The talking kept going back, and we were just like, you're not doing nothing, boy. We coming, we coming all day. We coming right here, same play, same play right here. We coming to you, boy. Every single play. And then like it started getting close and then um, it was never really like it wasn't really much talk until it stopped after a half time. Yeah. Half time is when then the game they realized yeah. it was business. Yeah. yeah. Your offensive line. It's gotta be the biggest offensive line I saw this year. They're enormous. They protected you well. Yeah. Talk a little bit about your offensive line. Um, I think uh, we started out a little bit slow. Still still very good, but I think um, for how Westfield we play, I think we started out a little bit slow beginning of the season. Uh, we picked up, made a few changes in the O-line. Some people spit spots. Um, 
shoot, our starting center was a sophomore. He didn't even know he was going to play center. Mm -hmm. uh, but he got thrown in there. Actually, Zach Jewell's brother, Brian Jewell, got thrown in at center. A um, few people got moved in, moved out. And then I think they started realizing that um, we can throw the ball now. All we have to do is give them on a couple seconds, yeah. two or three seconds at most. And I think they came to that conclusion, and we started slinging the ball more, and they realized, like, this is all we have to do. Like, we just have to put a body on a body, and we'll be fine. We have to trust uh, Ramon to get the ball out there to Sean and Ivory, and we'll be fine. God, there's two of those guys? <sighs> there's two jewels? Yeah. My goodness. <sighs> well, all right. That, the defensive line that you had, they were pretty good, too. Yeah, they helped us out a lot. How much easier did they make your job? Yeah, they made it a lot easier, especially my boy, Zach Jewel. He was just always getting around on the edge, forcing the quarterback to one side at least, narrowing his option, options down to, like, 50%, and then we'd take care of the rest, or they'd just get him in the backfield. Aaron Days, he was a beast as well. We had a lot of guys just getting right yeah. through there. All right, so before a game, what do you guys do? Do you like to listen to stuff? Do you like to be by yourself? What, what do you What do you like before a game? Why are you smiling? What do you? <laughs> I we do some weird stuff. Yeah, <laughs> All right. But I mean, leave school, go get a foot long from Subway, go home, take a dump. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some other stuff. Can't say in front of the camera. <laughs> then uh, head to the school. And then, then from there, it's just you, you walk into a locker room once everyone's in the locker room. You walk in, you see like Joe, you see Zach, you see all them, but they're not talking. They're just sitting there, ready to go, ready to go. Oh, and you walk in and you see them doing that, you're like, oh, it's one of those days, yeah. let's go. And then it's just quiet, quiet. Whole bus ride, it's quiet. You come, you win the game and you come back, it's loud as anything on the bus. We're getting yeah. hype, you lose, it's the same, same sound on the way there as the way back. Right. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm a pretty weird guy. Like, <laughs> I'll probably do the same things he does before we get here. But like, some games I'll just put on my cleats and like, I'll buy like some Chipotle and I'll just throw it. Like, <laughs> I'll get my cleats on. I just start running around here, like just doing weird stuff, like jumping the fence. Like games we were playing South County, I'd like just go up to a wall and just jump and hit the <laughs> joint and like try to see how high I could get. It was just stuff to keep me occupied. Like. And then other games, I just sit there, just not say a word. People try to talk to me, and I was like counting these things and the, like these little things in the lockers. <laughs> just weird stuff, keep me occupied. But yeah. So how many times? How many times did Coach Simmons come and go? What the hell is Joey doing right now? <laughs> <laughs> Coach, Coach, Simmons, uh, Coach Simmons was always outside. Yeah, he would understand the most. Yeah. Though. If he were to come in, he'd be like, "That's Joey for you." Right, good. <laughs> good. Well, guys, what was your favorite moment? I mean, obviously, two state titles on the, on the football field, one in the basketball court. My goodness. Mm -hmm. But um, what was your favorite moment? What will you take away from Westfield? My favorite moment, I'm not going to lie, it'd probably be the first state championship. I, that feeling after that, because that was the first one since 07. Yeah. That, that feeling, I was in shock. Honestly, like, and if you weren't in shock, then you probably shouldn't have been on the yeah. field with us. Because honestly, like, the feeling was like, after we won, I just, I put my hands on my head and just start crying, like, what yeah. just happened? Because, like, after, like, the mistakes we made, like, the fact that the defense still had our backs the whole game. Yeah. Like, I, I had, like, a couple of fumbles here. I messed up a little bit. But the fact that the defense kept us in that game, the feeling after the game was just, I honestly, if I, if I could feel that feeling again, greatest feeling of my life. I would definitely feel that feeling again. I mean, the best feeling for sure is the state championship games because just after that, it's just like you're high on life for a while. And that whole bus <laughs> ride home, just that whole night, the day after, the weekend school after that. But um, I really like like the days leading up. We do a midnight practice. Okay. So like we come here at midnight, yeah. like the days leading up to that and then coming here and seeing like all of our family together again, like that was like, it's just like mind blowing to see like everyone coming together and knowing that we're about to go like out this season with a blow. And, it happened, so just that feeling of coming together. All right. Was there a better corner in the state than that dude? No. Nah. Right. No. Nah. No better quarterback either. No, that was I mean, what I was coming to next. We got one pretty close, but he can't seem to clutch it at all. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now y'all can stop us. <laughs> oh, that's good. You know what? We're going to end on that. That's perfect. That's perfect. Thank you guys for joining yeah, us today. Thank you. We'll see you next time.